In this rural corner of eastern Oregon, the rolling hills stretch as far as the eye can see. Umatilla County is home to fewer than 80,000 residents. More than 60% voted for the Republican Party in 2020. There's plenty of cattle, plenty of land, and these days, plenty of vaccines. This one is 70 doses. So what's the problem? We, unfortunately, right now, we have more vaccine than we can find folks to give it to. Coronavirus cases are up. The county now back in the high risk category. We have plenty and enough vaccine, but very reluctant citizens. Almost half of the people here are not choosing to get a vaccine. So you have plenty of vaccines, but not enough people interested in getting the shot. Right. And we're really like all dressed up and no place to go. Joe Fiumara is on the front lines to get locals vaccinated. We have been a hot spot for COVID across the, the state. As Umatilla County's Director of Public Health, he understands the urgency. COVID cases are rising faster in Oregon than any other state. But his county ranks at the bottom in vaccines administered per capita in the state. Last week, we gave a total of about 500 doses of vaccine. Logistically, we could have given over 1,600 doses. Fiumara says reasons vary, but mainly stem from distrust of the government on both ends of the spectrum, from hardline Republicans to migrant workers who might be undocumented. How do you deal with that as a public health official? You know, I really don't know. We've seen a, a polarization with this vaccine that I've not seen with other vaccines. It was developed under a Republican president. It's being implemented under a Democrat president. It shouldn't be a partisan issue. It's not that all residents here are complacent about the virus. Some just don't trust the vaccine, despite the FDA and CDC saying they're safe and effective. It's just a little new. As a waitress, Miranda Solis says she doesn't want to get COVID, but she and her fiancé will skip the shot. We're pretty young and healthy, and we don't feel like we need the vaccine. Yeah. County and state officials are trying to win the hearts and minds of vaccine-hesitant Oregonians with more public messaging. When the COVID-19 vaccines came out, I talked to my doctor, and I made my own conclusions. Boost Oregon, a nonprofit dedicated to helping people make science-based vaccine decisions, is launching radio and TV ads across the state. We need to get vaccinated. Let's cross the finish line together. But it's too soon to tell how much those efforts could help. Cases are rising, harsh COVID restrictions are making a comeback, while patience is wearing thin. We can't stay locked down forever, but we're kind of at a, at a standstill because uh, they're not getting the shot. And so what will make things different? And that's the question being asked by local and state officials all across America. Vaccines are becoming increasingly available, but how do you persuade those reluctant Americans to get the shot? Now, ending this pandemic depends on widespread vaccinations. That's according to health experts. But eroding confidence in vaccines could sink that effort. Lucy Kafanov, CNN, Umatilla County, Oregon.